Hi guys, a lady called Kathleen phoned into Talk TV to complain, it seems, about Rishi Sunak and other Tories' genitalia. Now, she started out quite well, saying that Britain was going to hell in a handcart, but why was the problematic part? She said the government was, and I quote, letting everybody in, which of course is in reference to immigration. The host of the show tried to steer the conversation back to the protests which may take place on Remembrance Weekend, and Catherine claimed her grandfather fought in the war and allowing the march to go ahead would somehow be an affront to him. Have a listen to this. Kathleen is in Warwickshire. Uh, Kathleen, uh, you're very welcome to Talk TV. What would you like to say? Oh, good morning. Um, I agree with everything you say. I think this country is going to hell in a handcart. We have got a load of eunuchs in the government that do nothing. We're letting everybody in. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows where they come from. Nobody gives a damn. Where, where is the political leadership, Kathleen? Where is the Prime Minister today? Where is okay. the Prime Minister telling us telling us what, what he is going to do to get a handle on this ridiculous situation? He's, That's what I want to know. He's not going to do anything. He's got no balls and none of the rest of them. I'm sorry. They're all eunuchs. What do you think needs to happen, Kathleen, uh, in terms of what the police do? We've got this uh, remembrance, pr pr uh, pr this parade on Remembrance Day next uh, Saturday. Should it be banned? What, what, what do you think should happen? I think the whole of the, the, the uh, Palestinian pro Palestinians should be banned. My granddad fought in the war. My dad was in it, in it all through the war. And what have, what have we left them? What have they left us with? A, a wonderful country, and now there's no great in Britain at all. It's just Britain, and it's a dump. I'm sorry. You're feeling emotional about this, Kathleen. I I really am. I've got two little great grandkids, and what I'm I'm 79. What am I leaving then? I wish I'd never had kids. I've lost two of my children, and now what am I leaving my grandkids and great grandkids to? And my friend Verna in Norwich is exactly the same. She has two grandkids. What well, you know? Yeah. And we look around, and I think, what did our parents fight for? Okay, I really don't understand this call. So first of all, she says that the country is going to hell in a handcart, and she then she goes to immigration. So they're letting everybody in. They're not checking who's coming in. So. The reason the country is going to hell in a, hen, a hell in a handcart is because of immigration. Is this what she's talking about? Because, of course, the the host tried to steer the conversation back to, well, let's talk about the protests and uh, potential uh, marches around the cenotaph, and she says, "Well, we should ban these protests because my grandfather fought in the war." But. I presume your grandfather fought in the war for freedom, so the people would have the right to protest. <laughs> like, you, you, you're claiming that your grandfather fought in the war and that should be respected for what he fought for, and then you're saying that the march should be banned, so people shouldn't be allowed to protest. So what did he fight, what did he actually fight for? But this whole thing of the, the country's going to hell in a handcart because of immigration, what am I, what are we leaving what what am i leaving to my grandchildren what is she complaining about is she complaining about a cost of living crisis is she talking about the fact that her grandchildren i don't know how old they are but maybe you know they're not able to get on the property ladder because of 13 years of tory rule the nhs which she claims to have worked for as a nurse it's going to hell in a handcart is she complaining about that is she concerned about that is she concerned about Farmers not being able to get access to the workers they need because of Brexit. I don't know which way she voted on that, but I can I can guess So her concern seems to be immigration Letting everyone in and not checking and this is why the country is going to hell in a handcart And it's a dump. It's no longer Great Britain. It's just Britain I I would hope it's not about immigration, but it's about what the Tories have done. But I think I'm wrong on that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.